Oops, Maya DB, PangoCon 2015. No, you'll have to use MySQL Workbench for it. Does, that will work with that will work with MariaDB. Okay. But we do ship a GUI called Heidi SQL for Windows users only. Okay. And that's not, our, that's not ours either. That's like an open source tool. That they agreed to allow us to ship. So yeah, Workbench will work just fine. I, I didn't know that. Thanks for letting me know. So when you start up Workbench and it connects to MariaDB, it'll tell you something like, this is an unsupported server version, just say OK, and it'll actually work. OK. So we could fork Workbench to make it work. That whole drop-in replacement thing really does work. Yeah. Yeah. Just remove the devs, add new devs, and like everything is just magically working. At least in my experience. Yeah, we haven't broken anything from a user standpoint. And even from a code standpoint, we just implement it differently, not, not badly. We actually, when we say something like, oh, this doesn't seem right for us, we send upstream, we actually report bugs saying, look, this isn't right, you need to fix it. I have to try to make this all fit on one screen. <laughs> now, this is something that I personally have not used the GUI. Uh -huh. I, 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 don't, I don't use the GUI to actually use it, but there's no better way to but visualize it. But this is very cool. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'll show the GUI, but I'll drive in the command line, unless someone really, really wants to watch me watch a web GUI. But you guys look like a command line audience to me, is that correct? <laughs> yeah, you actually do it for deployments and stuff, and like it has like a commit button. I call it like allowing your manager to break your your deployment if you wish. Um, and I do use this to break your deployment. Yeah. You do use this. So what I'll do is I'll I'll do some CLI stuff and then we'll see it, but then I'll just show the GUI so that I use it for breakfast. Yeah. It's great for demos because I can type a bunch of commands, but you can visualize what's going on. Even though I'm not actually using the, the GUI itself to perform it. Uh, actually, no, I just want that to scroll to show that things are happening. I actually don't. Because like a lot of times people don't believe what's happening, so as long as you see things scroll, what I do is I'll show the results actually. So many good talks, tech talks this year. Um, <laughs> a little bit of road a little yeah. Uh, unless you think you came to the sword fighting talk, this is uh, deploy Maria DB in the cloud. Um, there will be some sword fighting. <laughs> yes. uh, so this will be myself with Colin. Will he help me out every time I get stuck in a Maria DBism? But I won't because I practice. Um, also, I have Mark Rand here, who is the engineering director for. Juju, which is the tool that we're going to use to deploy all the MariaDB <coughs> uh, that I'm going to show you today. Uh, any questions before we get started? Like, if you're in the wrong session, now is the time you can leave before you get some reps. Okay. Leave later too. Cool. All right. So while Colin was giving his talk, uh, I went ahead and deployed this. This is a visual representation of uh, MariaDB cluster 
with some services attached. I did a media wiki and a blog. And this is currently running on Amazon. I've named this environment Amazon. Um, everything I'm showing you here today will be run on Amazon. Uh, however, you can run any of the stuff that I show you here today. You can go home when you're getting good internet and you can deploy this on uh, Microsoft Azure if you're into that kind of thing. Or Joint. <laughs> Is right oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, okay. And it's actually ridiculously cheap, by the way. Yeah, Azure. Yeah. They give it's you free credits, like a lot more free credits. If you want, we, we can switch to Azure later and you can see how slow it takes for them to boot instantly. But once it gets up and running, it's actually pretty good. Um, and, and I mean that with, with love. Um, we can deploy to Joint. We can deploy to uh, your bare metal. So if you have a rack of servers at work, and you really, really like the way Amazon does things, how you ask for machines and they magically show up. Um, you can also do this uh, on either raw bare metal or if you have your own cloud at work. I don't think a lot of people, a lot of you have an open stack at like your house. Uh, but if you have an open stack cloud, you can also uh, use deploy these services, Maria and all that and stuff, on top of open stack. As well as replacing the MySQL and open stack itself with Maria and which I wanted to show you, but I was going to bring like 30 computers to PegoCon. Uh, so you'll have to take my word for it. And also Google Compute Engine. And also, yes, the, so the newest one is Google Compute Engine, which we have full support for. And everything you see here is going to be running on a PC 12 before, but as well, uh, over the next week or so, uh, we've added recent support uh, to deploy to both CentOS and Windows. So you don't even, if you like love everything you see here, but you hate Ubuntu because you don't like me or whatever. Um, then, by all means, feel free to deploy uh, wherever you want. Um, so one of the reasons I wanted to start off with, you can deploy to any cloud that you want. Clouds are really awesome, right? Remember the first time you actually figured out Amazon and you're like, man, I've got all this hardware, it's like annoying as hell to set up. Now I can just pay somebody and then I get a database, right? And then a lot of services started to come out in all these commercial clouds, right? Especially one of the most handiest ones is something like, say, our Amazon RDS, where you're not even just deploying an OS, then you have to install a database and configure it and do all these things, right? They just gave you a database. All you had to do was like write to it. Isn't that the awesomest thing ever? Except that maybe you don't want to be locked into Amazon all the time. Maybe Google Compute Engine is having a sale on instances that we have here. And the next thing you know, you might be locked into a cloud. So for us at Ubuntu, it's important for us to allow you to deploy at any cloud that you want. And oh, this is my wife, Jill. She's very supportive, even though she doesn't like this stuff. That's all right. Um, so for us, it's very important. Everything that I see you here, we try. We, well, we don't try. We do make it as cloud agnostic as possible. So if you choose that you like the really convenient database as a service or whatever thing you want as a service, absolutely do that. Um, however, we also like to provide you with the tools so you can deploy in a database as easily as you could those blank as a service things, but give you the flexibility to move uh, either between clouds or use clouds together, right? Like Amazon is really great if you need a lot of capacity very quickly, right? But if you know what you're doing, you can also run your own servers for, for cheap, right? Wouldn't it be nice if you could use any combination of, of things so that when you need the capacity, you can use it? But you can use the cost-effective thing for you know, that workload that you know will always be there, maybe not need to be so horizontally scaled. Um, so what I did is, he was talking about Maria, and I was like, oh, let's deploy a whole bunch of Maria things. So since MariaDB is a drop-in replacement for MySQL, I was able to just uh, deploy WordPress here, and then MediaWiki, which is a wiki software. If, if I'm using any term you don't understand, just yell or something. Um, uh, and this, this is a blog and a wiki, and I'm just able to plop in the database. And as far as WordPress and MediaWiki are concerned, they're talking, they're talking to a database. <laughs> um, since nobody ever believes me when I show stuff, uh, this is WordPress running. I actually blogged that uh, while he was doing his talk. I also say hello, PangoCon on the wiki. Uh, if you actually want to hit these on your laptop or on your phone and face them, by all means, feel free to do so. 